As an aim coach, the most common question I get asked is how does someone get more consistent aim? I'm not going to lie to you, perfect consistency is literally impossible. We're all humans, we just have different days and you feel different on different days and that's out of your control. But if you want to be able to play on the highest level possible as often as possible, check out what I had to say to this student in this session. If you wanted to see this whole session but miss my stream or miss some other cool live stream like my interview with Salzy, who's currently number 6 in the RA benchmarks, there is still hope for you. That hope is called channel memberships. For $5 a month, you can see a select pick of about 3 to 5 hours worth of coaching streams, including this session for this month. For $20 a month, you get unlimited access to all my previous live streams done on YouTube. That's a lot of content, like this week I streamed 13 hours, I can't say I'll do that every week, but it's a lot of content and it's constantly growing. There's also other perks like an exclusive Discord role that gets you exclusive Discord channels in my Discord server. So what would you say that you think your main issues are? Consistency. Um, that's the start. Um, like when it comes to fire end, uh, it's like probably just spamming because I'm dumb. But you do like, do a lot know. of spray and pray. I agree with that. Yeah. So, hmm. I just thinking for a minute. Yeah. I feel like one in every maybe two or three people I coach says their main issue is consistency. It's like something everyone yeah, loves I mean, to say they struggle like, with. I can hit shots, but then I can just wait for like five seconds later. Nothing ever happens. All right. So let's start with this. How many hours do you sleep a night? Uh, like between six, seven, I guess. Six or seven hours a night? Yeah, something. seven hours of sleep a night. How much water do you drink in a day? Uh, not definitely not enough. I drink like five, six glasses maybe. Okay, that's pretty bad. Drink more water. Do you do any form of like exercise or anything like? Uh, yeah, I uh, like do calisthenics. Like six All right, cool. Exercises. Um. You get any, like, sunlight? Those usually helps, like, just basic health things. Um, well, not that much since I'm a software engineer. That's my job. And then when I'm home, I game and train. It's nice. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> it's a, uh, I don't get that much. No. No, okay, that's... If you can get, like, I don't know where you're living, what, like, the conditions there. I saw you were on London servers, so if you're in London, I guess there's oh, clouds I, yeah. like seven I days pay, a week. I live in the Netherlands. So Netherlands. I don't know if they have the sun yeah. there. I don't think they have it in the UK. But um, <laughs> but uh, if they have like if it's if there's a sun out when you get home from work or before you leave and you have like time to take like even just 15, 30 minutes, just sit around walk. Like especially if like you wake up and you have time before work and you can just like sit around and take. <sighs> That would help a decent bit. A huge thing would just be if you can sh shift that six to seven hours of sleep to seven to nine per night. Yeah. That would just be a massive benefit for you. That's like really average eight. Like if you can get eight hours every single night, then you'll find you'll be a lot more consistent. And then other than that, you got to keep in mind that like a lot of people who focus mostly on one like multiplayer FPS game, not on their aim trainer scores will feel like, oh, I play this way. They'll, like, put too much weight into hitting a shot or missing a shot. Because, I mean, if you take 100 shots in one game, and that's, like, a yeah. big game of Valorant. Like, most games you get, like, 10, 15 kills. So you might only take, like, or not 10, 15, but, like, 20 to 30 kills in an average game of Valorant. You take, like, yeah. maybe 50 to 60 shots on an opponent, maybe 70. Right. And of those 70, like, play one wall, six targets, small, see how those 70 shots go. Like, first 70 shot, obviously don't do it right now, but just, you'll notice mm -hmm. that you miss a, 
it's like there's some inconsistency that's just bound to happen when it's not really inconsistency. It's just that you're taking such a small sample size and it looks inconsistent. Then add on the fact that you have enemies who are like different skill levels every single game, different people, different yeah. maps, different agents, different. And then all of a sudden half your gunfights in Valorant have all this utility stuff and there's different ranges. And then all of a sudden yeah. just expecting consistency becomes like very unreasonable honestly so right. i mean i i kind of just want to like access my subcon like um subconscious aim if okay that makes sense. like some like, yeah, when i'm sure. like i know when yeah like I, like, right. I know just for myself when i'm not really thinking when i'm just playing and i'm like sure, i can hit it like, okay I shots. that's um, yeah. that's a good goal have you read the inner game of tennis before the what sorry there's a book called here i'll send in chat uh the Inner Game of Tennis by W. Timothy Galloway. That book, I have you read that never book? Never heard of that before. Really? I would strongly recommend it. Very good book. Basically, like, goes in depth on, like, the whole subconscious, how to, like, get the best out of your performance. And, like, oh. but really, like, flow state type stuff. And yeah. the takeaways of it are really, I'd say... Just try to think of your mind as two separate people for a second. Don't let like the part of your mind that tries to dictate like all like you feel your conscious mind saying, oh, he's over there. Oh, I miss I'm like got to move my fingers, got to move my wrist, my I'm all that stuff. You feel that happening. Just try to learn to shut that off. And the only way to do that is to not try to do it at all which kind of makes yeah. it paradoxical. You want to try, you want a consistent answer, but that part of you that wants that to be able to try to do something is the same part that's getting in the way of those movements. So the mm -hmm. only way to tap into that unconscious mind is just to um, let go and allow yourself to relax, play without overthinking and all that stuff. Yeah. I hope that makes sense. Um, it makes sense. Yeah. I it's made a like, few videos on it. I've talked a lot about it on I've very all of them on perfect. Time. Yeah, if you can read the inner game of tennis, that would help a decent bit. But there are a few things in terms of just your actual skill that I wanted to look at that I noticed. But first, let's yeah. just see what do you do for AM training normally. So the main takeaways hopefully are you should sleep more and try not to overthink. Be healthy, drink water, eat, exercise, but don't tire your arms out before an important match, and you should be able to perform way more consistently. Become a channel member if you want to see how the rest of the session went. Thanks for watching.